So I'm going to show you how to type in basic equations and formulas into your spreadsheet. So the first thing I'm going to start with is we need a sum for column G. In other videos, I've already showed you how to use the sum function or the auto sum up here. But now I'm going to show you how to just add multiple cells over and over. So again, you always start your equation with an equal sign. And I want to add this plus this plus this. And you can see um, already that it's way easier to use the, um, the sum. But you can just continue to go down your column and add everything like this. Now I've got all of my values that I want to add, and I'm going to push enter. And so my total for week four is $1,143. I'll also show you, so that was adding kind of down this column. I'm going to show you um, over here in column I, we want to know my monthly money remaining. So here is my monthly budget, for example, so $899 for housing. And so far, I've spent 875, so my remaining money is going to be the difference between those two. So I'm going to navigate to this cell here. I'm going to type in equals. And again, I'm not going to type in 899 minus 875, because then it's just subtracting those two values. It'll give me the correct answer, but if all of a sudden my rent goes up and it was actually meant to be, um, you know, 875 here because I put in these exact numbers 899 minus 875 it's no longer doing the correct calculation so that's why I don't put in the specific numbers I reference the cells so let me put this back to 850 how it was supposed to be and let me do this the correct way I'm going to delete what I wrote here and I'm going to type equals my monthly budget minus how much I've spent so far, and I get $24 remaining this month. I can do the same exact thing over again, equals my monthly budget for transportation minus the spending so far, and there you go, I see that I've overspent in this category. I could keep going down, but of course we've learned that we should rather just copy and paste it the whole rest of the way down. So I'm going to go up here, I'm gonna push edit, and copy. I want to use that same equation over and over again. So I can go here and push paste. Here you see I had $341 in my budget. I spent $345, so I've overspent by $4. That's like a little spot check that my equation is working correctly. But I can do the same thing the whole way down the row by just doing copy and highlighting all of these and pushing paste. There we go. Now I've got my monthly muddy remaining for all of my categories of my budget. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is over here in column J, I want to know the percent of my budget that I've spent so far. And so, so what I'm going to do is I want this to equal what I've spent so far, 875, divided by my total monthly budget for that category and push enter. Now you see I get this long decimal. Um, so right now it's not giving it to me as a percentage, it's giving it to me as a decimal. So I have two options. I can go up here and to turn it into a percentage, I can change my equation. So rather than delete the whole thing, I can go up to my equation editor and I can say, okay, multiply by 100. And then that changed it from a decimal into a percent. The other thing I could do instead is I can go to this cell and I can go up and format it to say it's a percent instead. And there we go, it gives me 97.33% and I can change the number of decimal places that are visible. So if I just want it to be 97, I can decrease the decimals. If I want one decimal, I can re-increase them. However, however specific I want. And then, of course, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do my shortcut of a copy-paste down the entire row. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to push copy. And then I'm going to highlight down my entire row. I'm going to go up here and push paste. 
and it tells me now in each category what percent of my budget that I've spent and I can do a little spot check. Of course, everywhere that I have overspent, I have spent more than 100% of my budget. Um, this one's exactly 100% because I'm right on budget. Uh, and the ones that are below 100%, I still have some spending I could do in that category. Hi, this is Jessica from NextGen Personal Finance. I hope my video made you love spreadsheets as much as I do. NGPF is a nonprofit organization offering free personal finance resources for high school teachers to use with their students. Frankly, our curriculum is amazing. Be sure to check out our website or watch my entire playlist of helpful spreadsheet videos. Enjoy!